to my channel. So tonight I am doing part four of my uh, Chicago 2018 um, haul for you guys. Uh, so this is the final part um, of the unboxing series, I guess, that I've been doing. And it is the largest unboxing that I have for you. So that's why it's taken me a while to get this video done, because it's going to take a little bit of time. So grab a glass of wine or a glass of water or a beer or whatever. Sit down. It's going to be a while. I have a lot of stuff to unbox for you guys. And this is all um, Longchamp, of course. So absolutely love this brand. As many of you guys know that. It is one of my favorite brands uh, that I own. And I had an amazing time in Chicago at the Longchamp store there. So I first wanted to tell you guys, if you are going to uh, the Chicago area, you'll definitely want to stop at that uh, fashion mall there. And the person who helped me at that store, his name is Maximo, and he was absolutely amazing. He was very, very nice. He was very, very helpful. And he really made the experience um, something to remember for sure. So I had a really awesome, fun night there. And I got a whole bunch of goodies for you guys. They did have a sale going on. They had an additional 20% off a lot of their items. So that was pretty cool because it was Memorial Day weekend. So I did save quite a bit of money. I got a lot of stuff, but I also saved a lot of money too. Uh, so that's, of course, amazing as well. Um, but yeah, uh, so let's get started with it. I do want to show you guys, um, I got a little thank you card from Maximo, so that was sweet, uh, right here. So, and it's from, yeah, he's at the Chicago Fashion Outlets. That's the store that he is um, at there. And so he just sent me this little um, thank you card in here. I got my receipt in there, um, and then it just says, uh, thank you for your purchase, enjoy your new bags, and hope to see you again soon, Maximo, at the Chicago uh, store there. So anytime I go back there, I will definitely be giving a call ahead of time to make sure he will be there to help me out. Uh, so thank you, Maximo. I had an amazing time there at your store, and I will see you again <laughs> sometime soon, hopefully. All right, so let's get started. Let's jump right into the bags, and I know that's what you guys have been waiting for. I have, how many bags do I have? I don't even know. I don't know. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bags, I think, and then three SLGs, something like that. Let's just get into it. So I have everything on this table in front of me. Sorry if I just wiggled it. Everything laying out here. And let's look at this one here. I'm not sure which one's in here, actually. So I have every he um I had everything shipped to me actually because that was able to save on the tax since we don't have a tax or a, um, a long shop store where I live I was able to have the items shipped to my home for free and it was also tax free which was really really nice that saved a couple hundred dollars actually so um, yeah had everything shipped and he had everything packaged really nicely and in dust bags some of the items came in dust bags that don't normally come in dust bags but he just put them in there for me anyway to make sure everything was wrapped really nicely and very secure, which it was, so that was appreciated as well. And I love their dust bags too, they're really nice. All right, so the first one up is, let's get it out. I got a lot of leather. I mean, pretty much everything is leather except for two of the items. Is this right here. And this is the I think it's called the Parisis Messenger Bag, I believe. That's what it is. Because remember I have the Parisis little crossbody bags? I think this is the Parisis Messenger Bag. Uh, and it's all the lambskin leather. And then it has the cotton strap just like my other Parisis bags do. So this one here is a beautiful blue color. I love this blue color. And you'll see a little bit of a pattern with the blue um, going on in, in this unboxing. But it's really, really soft. It's um, not too uh, fat, so it's uh, it'll you know it lays up against your body really nice. But there's a lot of room in this little thing. And then on the back, well, it just says here, um, long shrimp right there. And then this is just a magnetic flap, like that. And then on the inside, it has two zippered pockets there. But it's like a magnet. And then on the back here. 
There's another uh, zipper pocket right there with the uh, embossed uh, horse and jockey. So I'll kind of go through this quickly for you. It's got a, it's a nice uh, gunmetal uh, zip, zipper pull right there. And on this pocket, I don't know if, yeah, you can see, it's got the you know the black lining there. It has two slip pockets on the back wall, and then it's just like an open compartment right there. So this is actually a really roomy bag um, for its size, which is awesome. And these zippers are super smooth, but you know I love my Longchamp uh, metal zippers. All right, and yep, so the flap opens like that. And let me take some of this bubble wrap out. And then this here, oh, by the way, also pretty much everything I think except for two items is all France. So everything is made in France except for two of the items, I believe. I'm pretty sure. All right, yeah, because this is made in France too. But this has got, there's no pockets on the inside of this. This is just like a giant opening right there. But I don't need pockets in there because I have these two zippered pockets here and then one on the back as well. So I don't, I don't need any more pockets. This is, this is exactly what I need. But here's the tag right there. And it just says long shot made in France. This is a nice lightweight bag too. It's not real heavy, but because it, it's the lambskin and that's why I loved it so much. But this color, you guys, this color is real extra pretty. It's really pretty. I love this blue color. And yeah, what you're seeing on camera is really what it looks like in person too. I think it's called cobalt blue. I'll have to double check the tags and stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's called cobalt blue. I love this and it smells so freaking amazing. Okay, there we go. Let's move along because this is gonna take forever. I don't know, should I just start setting everything down? <laughs> like next to me, I guess. <laughs> we'll start a little wash on pile, how about that? All right, next let's go with, let's go with the big bag. I got one big bag right here. And you know what's funny? I wanted this bag, I think it was in the fall when they had their, like one of their uh, annual sales that they do, but it sold out. I think, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure they had this on there and it was on sale, but it had sold out already. I'm not 100%, but I love this bag. It is beautiful. All right, so here it is. this out here. But something really, really neat about this bag is everything, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I just, I love this bag. I'm telling you, this is, this is beautiful to me. I just love this bag. Okay, so let's um, go over really quick. Something really neat about this bag is actually it has four different kinds of leather on it. So it has the, uh, there's lambskin on it. Yeah, lambskin, calf, Skin leather, pebble leather, and like a Safiano type leather on here too. So yeah, there's four different leathers on this bag and it's really, really neat. And then it just says, it's kind of washing out, but it just has the, it just says Longchamp Paris on this like, uh, what do you call it, leather piece right there. So really, really cool. This is from the men's line. And then on the back, you can see that there and kind of see the different textures of the leathers. It's really, really neat. I love this bag. And then there's the bottom, which is just all one piece of lamb skin. And then the sides here. And then the other side. So a really unique bag and I just was really drawn to this. It also, um, something a little bit different, it has the cotton uh, strap on it. And it's a thick strap and it's like doubled so you can actually really adjust this. This is super, it's, it is a detachable strap. And oh, and the hardware on this too, it's all gunmetal hardware, which I love that hardware. I think it's really very pretty. They just did a really great job with this bag and designing it. I love it. But yeah, you can see how it's doubled up like this. So you can make it double long. You could wear this as a giant crossbody bag if you want but definitely a great like work bag if you want. You could use it to travel with. It's really a perfect bag. And then it has this little like leather, uh, I don't know what do you call it, like a uh, thing <laughs> right there. 
Okay, let me show you the inside. And the zipper pull is amazing. It's so smooth. All right, and then the inside here, I don't think I'm gonna, well, screw it. I told you guys we're gonna be on here an hour, so hopefully you got some wine. Let's go through it all. All right, the inside of this one, it's uh, basically like a navy, the navy um, interior, and it's just your standard kind of like setup for the Long Shop Cure Bags. So just the zipper pocket back there, and then on the other side, it does have a couple uh, slip pockets slip pockets back there too and this has the tag on it and it is also made in France I don't want to right there so yeah yeah made in France I don't want to wrinkle up everything too badly so I'm not gonna get too crazy but and it came oh everything came with its own booklet there and it just has the the cowhide, calfskin, lambskin, textile, all that stuff on the inside right there. So I leave that in there. But this is a big bag. This is, um, I would, I feel like it's a large, but I think they might have called this a medium. But I feel like this is a large. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure about that. I was like cold because it's like freezing down here, but now I'm like hot. I'm like getting hot now. Probably because I'm so excited, I'm just getting hot. I might have to start stripping. Oh my goodness, okay. I love this bag, I love this bag. We got a lot more bags to go. All right, there's that one. And we'll just set it right here. Just like that, next to me. Now, up next is this bag here, and I wanted this bag also, so I was so excited that they had this at the store in the exact color that I wanted. I love this bag, and in the size, the color, everything, because this is the small size. Wait for it. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my god, I love this bag. I love all these bags. I think this is so pretty. This is a small size, so the small cure in the... I forget, I don't know if this was a limited edition or seasonal or whatever, but Ecolite, something like that. Something It has something to do with stars, I know that. Because I have that one Le Pliage bag with like the stars all over it. Uh, I think this is from like that same line that they did with the stars. So it's really, really cool. It's all black calfskin, silver hardware, silver um, like studs and rivets and stuff. So I'll kind of hold it up closer and you can see that. It's really, really neat. It's got some perforation, but it is really pretty. Like it's, it's a black, black, you know, it's dark black. It, when I hold it up close like that, it kind of gets the reflection. So really it's like this. It's dark black. It's just a nice, pretty black color. Really pretty. Um, like I said, it's a small size cure with the leather detachable shoulder strap. So just like all the other ones, the setup on the inside is the same. I'll kind of show you really quick. This is also a made in France piece. I just love that. I got all these France pieces. And the inside of this one, I love the color of it. The color of this on the inside is so complimentary and pretty. It's like a like a silver color is what it is. But it has your same setup, so the, the, the zipper pocket in the back, and then on the other side it just has the two slip pockets. But yeah, it's made in France. Um, it's, it's on that black tab. You probably really can't see it, but this is a made in France piece. I just love this bag so much. I'm super, I'm using this tomorrow for sure. Definitely using this tomorrow to go out shopping. Because I still haven't made it to Target yet. <laughs> okay. Stuff this back in here. And I got such great prices on these, you guys. I I just couldn't believe it. I was just shocked. I got... I, I'm not going to go through all the prices because that will just take too long to do that. But just know I got really good prices on everything. <laughs> these zippers are so smooth. 
Oh my god. Like, you guys, I'm telling you, these bags are amazing. Amazing. I love them. All right, let's sit this guy up over here so we can stare at it. Next up, let's see. We'll do the little SLGs last. I got like piles of bags and stuff. <laughs> Oh, uh, you guys, this is so much fun. I love this. This is great. I hope you guys are enjoying it like I am. All right, let's look at this one, which is in here. Okay, this one, let me talk to you about this one. Well, I'll show you it. Canada dust bag. This one, I think, hold on. Yeah, this bag I actually did not get at the long shop store, but I'm including it in this haul because I got it the next day, I think. Yeah, I got I got this on Sunday because I got everything on Saturday at the Longchamp store. Saturday night, actually. And then I got this on Sunday. I just happened to wander into Neiman Marcus and they had this on clearance, like clearance way down. So I picked it up. All right. This is here. I'm probably going to wash everything out. This is the, it's a crossbody bag. And I think it's called the Rose, Roseo, Roseo something. And this is. It's embossed calfskin leather. It's crocodile embossed. It's not real crocodile, it's just embossed crocodile lambskin. It's all, it's white, it's white, white. You know, it's definitely white, it's a white bag. <laughs> and then it has the adjustable shoulder strap here. It's got these cool like uh, chain details there. I like this uh, front part here because it actually is a magnetic opening so it just pops open like that. And then the inside, this is also made in France by the way. And the inside is, it has one back zippered pocket. Well, you can see the zipper right there. It's, it's a white zipper. So one zipper pocket there, and on, on the other side there, there's two slip pockets. And it's like a, it's like a denim interior color. You can see it. See how it looks like denim jeans? That's what the interior is like. And again, this is also made in France, which is really very cool. And I have, I got all this stuff here. Um, yeah, I got this really cheap. Really cheap. I don't know where the care booklet is. Maybe this one didn't come with a care booklet, but I know this is the calf skin. I know it's the embossed calf skin. All right, so there's that. I can't remember what the retail runs on these, but yeah, this piece here, this like, I think this is supposed to be a horse bed, I'm assuming. It's heavy. This is, you You could hit somebody in the head with this and it would leave a dent in their brain. I'm serious. This is really substantial. You can probably knock somebody out with this. <laughs> no joke. But yeah, so everything's washing out, but hopefully you kind of get the idea of it. It's a really very, very, very white bag. Optic white, you know, bag. And I don't have anything like this at all. So I just picked, I would normally not buy something like this, but it was super cheap and I'm like, screw it, let's get it. All right, let's set this one over here, like that. Or should I set it up over here so you can see it still if you want? I don't want it, I don't want it to fall though. <laughs> that looks stupid. We'll just, okay, sorry. I'm like screwing around with all this stuff. I'll just put it back over here where I had it because I have more bags. Okay, next one is this. What is this? Oh, this, you guys. Totally not something I would normally go for, but I kept looking at it that night and I kept looking at it and I kept looking at it and then I bought it. Really unique, really cool. I have nothing like this at all whatsoever. It is a really cool bag. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? So this is actually made out of, I think it's calf hair. So it, this is a calf skin and then calf hair, I think. Let me double check the um, booklet on the inside here. What it says. Let me see. Yeah, calf fur trimmed with calf skin. That's what 
There you go. And this is also made in France. I think this is called like the Heritage. I think that this is like their Heritage bag. So you can use this as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. Uh, it's got all you know the adjustable strap. I will be using it crossbody, of course. It has gunmetal hardware. You can see that there and right there. And it's all see this is launched up right there, and it's got the this is leather here, and then this is all the calf fur, which is cool. And then on the bottom and the sides there. And then the back is just the leather right there. The black, the smooth black uh, calfskin leather. So really, really nice. Very unique. The colors are right there. What you see, that's correct. So it's basically like there's cream in here. Uh, gray is in here and blue is in here. It's very pretty, very unique. I have nothing like this. I have no calf hair bags. So I, d I jumped on this because uh, I got such a great price on it. And I thought it was just really unique and really different and something that I wanted to add to my collection because I have nothing like it. All right, moving on. Oh, wait, I didn't show you the inside, did I? It's kind of like the other one, the white one. So you, it's just like a, this little... It's, this is heavy too. You can kill somebody with this flap, I think. It's really heavy. My dogs are going crazy. Let me see who's here. I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, okay, so let me open this up. The inside here. Okay, so that's all the calf leather right there. It has a zipper pocket there. And then on the other side, it has a two slit pocket. So it's the same setup as the white bag I just showed you. And then you can kind of see it's like a gray, like a gray leopard print on the inside, which I'm glad they chose that color because some of them have like a burgundy and different colors that I didn't like, but I really liked this particular color and everything. I just really thought it was unique and really cool. Alright, let me put all this stuff in here. Oh, here's the, like, this is like the, the information. Yeah, okay. Let me stuff all this back in there. Let's set this one over here, and sorry, one second. All right, moving on, we have a couple more items. Okay, this one, oh, this is really cool. It's very pretty. I love this bag. I'm so excited about this one too. Okay. That blue again. I, this blue is just so, it's, the camera's picking it up. It's so pretty. I just love it. I just love this blue. It is gorgeous. So this is of course the uh, Le Pliage uh, crossbody bag in the lambskin leather. So really cool. I like that it's got some veining in there, which is really, it makes it unique, and I actually really like that about this bag. So super neat. The main compartment is, I'll show you, it's blue, it's like, um, well, it's like a, it's a gray with like the blue horses and the, the, the ribbons and stuff. See that? So it's really neat. And this one is also made in France too. There's the tag. You know what, I'm not going to dig it out, but anyway, it's this is made in France, because <laughs> I checked. Okay. But yeah, this is, this all, it's crossbody, so all the strap was all inside, and you just pull it out, but it, it was brand new, so you just shipped it just like this. So really pretty and so soft. I love this color. This is such a beautiful color, you guys. Love it. All right. Next item 
is in this bag. <laughs> and once again, with the Cobalt Blue. I hope that's the name. <laughs> I hope it's called Cobalt Blue. <laughs> this is basically like a, a travel pouch, I guess you could call it. I think that's what it's called. But it's got this, it's really different. It's got a snap button, double snap button here. And there's like a sl two little slip pockets right there. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then on the back, it's got this really nice, it's a metal zipper pull, which is super smooth. Oops. Oh, here's the thing. And that's the inside. And I really liked how they did that with the lining. It's like a two-tone kind of lining. I thought that was really neat. And this is lambskin also. And then the inside, the main part, and it just has your normal pull there. is just a big opening right there and there's no pockets or anything like that but you can see it's got that really pretty lining in there so really cool i like this a lot of course the color is what got me beautiful and it has these there's like um a loop here and then like a different type of loop here i'm not really sure what these loops are for I don't know. If you know, leave it in the comment section down below because I'm not really sure. But I thought it was really cute and I'm just going to use it inside of my bigger bags. So like I would actually put this inside of here. I would use it for that. Kind of, You get the idea. Because it's basically, I mean I wouldn't put like cosmetics in here or something like that because I wouldn't want it to get on that fabric, you know, because it's not really, it's... Yeah, I just wouldn't want to do that. But I think this is made in France too, actually. I'm pretty sure. Hold on, I can't see. Oh no, this one's made in Morocco, actually. I don't know if you can see that there. But this is made in Morocco. All right, so there's the little pouch, whatever it's called. We'll just set that there. And, then we're almost done. We're almost done. Actually, we're doing pretty good. I thought this was going to take a lot longer. I'm kind of, am I going too fast? Am I going to have to redo this whole thing? No, I won't redo it because then it would be fake and I don't want to be fake. All right, he put these in, in a dust bag because they don't come in dust bags, but he just put it in there for me anyway. I got these two bags right there. So I got this orange one here and then I, I think this is just called like orange <laughs> and then this is I think called Azure which is basically a, it's blue it's just a blue bag but it's not you know that same like it's not the, like the cobalt you can see the difference see how much darker this blue is compared to that I think this is called Azure blue and this is the long handled large regular La Pliage bag but you know what I'll just open it up for you There. You can kind of see. There's that. Alright, so it has a gold hardware on that. And these are really good. I think these were $94, I believe. So pretty good price on these, 94 bucks. And last but not least, I have three small little SLGs that I got. And they put them in here for me. So the first one is this little card holder thing. It just says Longchamp on there. And there's the back. And it's their pebbled uh, leather Lafon something. I can't, I don't know how to pronounce it. And then it just opens up like this. And I'm actually going to take this out. You could use this thing for, it's like the plastic, the plastic things. I'm taking that out. I'm not, I'm just using it like this to put cards in. So just as a little mini wallet, that's how I plan on using this little item. But again, it's that really pretty blue. <laughs> so I got a whole bunch of this in blue. I just love this blue. I went crazy with the blue. So that little guy right there. But yeah, there's like one, two, three, four card slots. So two on either side. And then like two more slip pockets that way on either side. 
So there's two, four, six, eight slots really in this little thing. So pretty cool. All right, next one is this right here. Oh, here, I had it upside down. And this is like a zippy, this reminds me of my zippy coin purses or whatever they're called from Louis Vuitton. And this is all like a really nice uh, leather here. I think this is just like, I think this is a calfskin leather, I'm pretty sure. All right, this has got gunmetal hardware on there. And then it has the long shot metal plate with like the leather embossing right there. And then it zips like that. And it opens up like this with that, with the blue. There's a blue, I'm telling you, look at that blue. It's like polka dots, isn't that neat? I just, I love this blue. It's so cool. And I love these little wallets like this. I use them a lot. I just find them really functional for me because I can stick a whole bunch of different, you know, cards in here, driver's license, that sort of thing, receipts, coupons, everything kind of fits in there really nicely for me and it, it keeps it kind of organized. So there's a uh, multiple slots in here. There's leather in here. Um, and I think these are made in France as well because it came with, yes, it actually came with like the care booklet. So this says, oh, this is sheepskin. I thought it was different. It's actually, this is a sheepskin. That's, that's unique. Okay. So this is sheepskin. <laughs> So it came with a little care book and then it came with a separate little tag that this says long shot made in France. So that is this little guy. These zippers are so nice and smooth too. Really cool. And then I got one more item. Last but not least, of course, is this cool little zippy thing too. It's in like a luggage colored uh, leather. So really pretty. It's the same style as the other one or setup actually, it's a different style because it's got the horse on there instead of the, it just says long shop like that. So they're the same setup thing, just a little bit different styles. Okay. And this has got like, a, like an antiqued bronze hardware on it. So really pretty. And let's see what this, this is a different leather. This is like really soft. This might be lambskin. Let's read the little tag. On the inside, I forgot what this looks like. Okay, on the inside of this one, it's just like the same. So it's a neutral brown with like the leather and everything like that. Love this. I got these for a really good price too. So here's the care booklet. This is cow, oh, this is cowhide, okay. It's really soft. It feels like lambskin or calfskin actually. I'm surprised that's cow. And then it came with the tag thing that says made in France too. So there we go. It's all my stuff guys. All my long shop items. It's a whole lot. How many items is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve items. Not bad. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys something before I forget too. Before I go. All right. Something really neat that Maximo actually told me. Longchamp actually uses the same lambskin that Chanel uses. Isn't that interesting? I thought that was really, really interesting. And I've told you guys a million times how soft and how nice this leather is. Well, now we know why. Because <laughs> they get it from the same place Chanel does. So... You, I guess if you have a Chanel lambskin bag, it's made from the same factory or um, supplier of the lambskin. So I thought that was a really neat thing. I, I do want to share that with you guys, so I'm glad I remembered because I just thought that was a really cool thing to know because I did not know that until he told me that. So that makes me feel even more... I don't know, more in love with the company, I guess, because they're using such high quality products, I guess, you know, if that makes sense. But anyway, all right, you guys, hopefully you, you enjoyed that. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section down below, of course. Let me know what you guys think and if you liked it, what your favorite piece was. I don't know what mine is. I love every single item I got, like honestly. I love every single item 
but definitely this blue, this blue and this bag are just to die. So yeah, that's all I got to say. There will only be one other unboxing for you guys, which is not part of this little series. Um, I'll probably, I don't know when they'll be here, probably sometime this week. So, and then that will be my last unboxings. I am going on a bag ban. I'm going to purse prison, bag jail, whatever you want to call it. I'm done for like a while. I've got my fill in, at least till my birthday in August. So yeah. All right, you guys. Well, have a great night and until next time, keep it tight.